Hi all, you are watching Simulink tutorial and today we are going to see how to implement straight machine. So let's start. So what is a straight machine? So it's a system which has finite number of modes called as straights and it can be implemented in a straight chart. So what should we know to design a straight machine? First, the possible number of straights within the straight machine, then logic for transition from one straight to another and action that should be taken for each particular straight. So now we are going to see the straight machine that I have designed. So it has two straights that is normal and failure and transitions required. So to go from normal to failure mode, I need fail flag equal to one and the fail flag is coming from this repeating sequence stair block. So this fail flag is the input to this chart. Now to transition from failure mode to normal mode, I need i equal to 5. So what is i? So it is an iteration or say a count which is equal to 1. Here you can see i equal to 1 when we enter the failure mode and it increments i value by i plus 1 which is a during action. So what exactly happens here? In failure mode, when it enters failure mode, i is equal to 1 and it counts i plus 1 and then checks if fail flag is equal to 1. If it is 1, it resets i that is equal to 1 and start failure mode from entry point once again. Now think of a case where enduring we have reached i equal to 5 but fail flag is 0. So then it takes this second path where i is equal to 5 and it enters the normal mode. So as long as fail flag is equal to 0, it stays in normal mode. So this is what we discussed for transition and a little bit for action. So rest of the action part is this. So when in normal mode, out should be equal to input and when in failure mode, the output should be equal to 0. So for straight machine, it's similar to straight flow but more readable and it too has a default state that is this one. So in our case, the normal state is the default state. So same procedure is for adding the parameters in the chart that is go to model explorer and add inputs and outputs or local parameters, whatever the parameter is. So let's simulate this model. So here the first signal is input signal, then second signal is the fail flag signal, third signal is the output signal and for reference I have taken the iteration that is count as the fourth signal. So if you observe from time sample 4 to 6, fail flag is equal to 1 twice and the count is equal to 1 twice. So the count starts from 1 again for second time fail flag being 1 and then it counts up to 5. Till then the output is equal to 0 without considering the fail flag being 0. So when it reaches 5 and fail flag is equal to 0, output is equal to input. So we have successfully implemented our requirement in this model. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning.